Satira uh, Hadith from Muhammad alayhi salam, which says, By Allah, you and Afwa was given seven continents with all that exists under the skies, and in order that I may disobey him to the extent of snatching one grain of barley from an ant, I would not do it. This Hadith is very, very profound, it has a meaning that can go beyond comprehension and leads to everything that is said or done existentially or inwardly by us in every aspect of life. And now more so, having heard him today uh, for his Friday khutbah, talking about Azadari and the meaning of Azadari, whether we are doing it from a cultural point of view or from a, from a, uh, a, a Husseini point of view, if you are uh, from a message of Husseini point of view. We have to look at ourselves in every aspect, and that goes for myself and first, and then everybody else as well. And forbidding, uh, and joining good and forbidding evil. Uh, we do not see ourselves in a light that we should see from a point of view of the Imam's teachers. We take everything for granted, <coughs> deal with everything on a cultural basis. Most of the times it is cultural. And yesterday, I, was, I, was, uh, I went somewhere, and I met somebody uh, to see a mechanic. And I went to see him, and the first thing he said to me, and I know him. He was, a, he was from Ahle Sunnah. We grew up together. And he said, oh, you. He says, I, don't, I, 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 I see now you're on the Shia channel every, uh, every now and then. So I said to him, what do you mean? He said, I think you should look at the way you conduct yourself. So I kept quiet. I said, let me ask you a question. Who is your Imam? Are you Hanafi? He said, yes. I said, my Imam is Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam. Who is better, in your opinion? Imam Jafar Sadiq or Imam Hanifa? He kept quiet. There was another person next to me. He said, oh, I didn't know that you appear, you, you, you're, you're a Shia. I said, I am, and I'm proud to be one. So he said to me, he said, but you know the problem is that we have been born with, our father, with what our parents have taught. It's very difficult for us to change. So I said to him, Allah gives you the freedom of no choice, in the, uh, has given you a freedom of no choice. The choice is in the Quran that you can ha follow whoever you want. Yeah. But within that, it doesn't mean that that thought is based on <coughs> just saying, I can do what I want. Mm -hmm. Allah has set a rule for you, a belief, a thought process for you to discern what is right and what is wrong. And he says, what do you mean? He says, I follow my parents. My parents are always right. I said, it's contradicted in the Quran. When asked by Allah, who, who did you follow? They say, we followed our fathers and our forefathers. Mm -hmm. But the fathers and forefathers were manifest in error. So this is part of the imitation that most of us follow. <coughs> Even in our Azadari, we follow imitation. Yeah. Over and over again, I've seen it. And it doesn't go on that we are better than the rest of them. Because if we are not on the Husseini path, in reality and follow, according to, if anybody listened to the khutbah today, which I enjoyed very much, right? If we're not on the path of Husseini, on the Husseini path, then understand one thing, that just being Shia doesn't guarantee you're gonna to go to heaven as most of us think, right? It has to go through a period of cleansing us before that. And we have to reevaluate ourselves, especially in, 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 in the days of Muharram, and not be a tender or cultural expedition. Salawat.